The mother of an 18-year-old boy who died after falling off scaffolding on a Sydney construction site is pleading with the New South Wales government to do more to save lives. Patrizia Cassanidi has told Sky News the government needs to impose harsher regulations and penalties for unsafe practices. The closer I was getting, the less I was breathing. Anxiety kicked in. I was ringing him and ringing him. By the time I got here, he'd already passed away. Falling scaffolding crushed Christopher Cassanidi to death on April 1st, five days after his 18th birthday at this worksite in Macquarie Park. Six months on and a mother's grief is still too much. I can't bring my son back. So for me, my coping mechanism is to make sure that no other worker dies. Patricia Cassanidi is now dedicating her life to change the culture in the construction industry. She started the Touched by Christopher Foundation to raise funds for grieving families and launched an app. Speak Up allows workers to report unsafe conditions anonymously. It gives them that confidence to be able to speak up so that if they do see an unsafe situation, they can actually report it without putting their name to it. Um, too many feel like as though they can't speak up because they'll probably be shown the door. Sky News understands the New South Wales government is considering adding gross negligence to the Category 1 offence under the Work Health and Safety legislation in a bid to make prosecution easier and penalties greater. But Patricia Cassanidi wants to see the introduction of industrial manslaughter laws. Well, I've been talking to several people in Queensland who've got the industrial manslaughter in place. They've all said they've seen that a lot of bosses are kind of stepping back and thinking I've got to stop and I've got to make sure that I'm doing the right thing because I'll end up in jail. I know Kevin has put in gross negligence into the WHS Act which I think is coming out in December. It is a preventative because you don't need to have killed or injured someone before you get charged. Um, and put into jail, but what happens to the ones that actually end up dying and, and their justice? So would you say that that's enough or would you like to see the government take that extra step? We need to take a stand. It's, it, we need stricter regulations, stricter penalties. New South Wales government needs to fully understand what industrial manslaughter is all about and that there has been prosecutions. Uh, be made with that the IM laws. Despite pressure mounting on the government to follow in the footsteps of Queensland, the ACT and the top end, Minister for Better Regulation Kevin Anderson wants legislation here in New South Wales to focus on targeting risky workplace practices instead. In a statement to Sky News, the minister says, we need to strengthen our workplace safety laws to ensure that the toughest action we take targets risks in the workplace, not laws that sit around waiting for tragedy to occur. No one should be patting themselves on the back for laws that come into effect because someone died. I don't want Christopher to be just another statistic. Stella Todorovic, Sky News, Sydney.